We have 120 trillion body cells in the human body. Each cell is a human being. So it's a human body is a colony of 120 human beings. And they love one another each so much that if you take a biophoton camera today, you can see your cells jumping in happiness, dancing together. Supposing I go and hate you for some reason, then my cells get confused. Why? Why is he doing that? I am loving that person. He is hating the person. And if you keep on hating a person and harming a person and trying to harm the person, the cells eventually start copying that. They start hating each other. And that is what is called autoimmune disease. Your own body cells hating your own body cells and killing them. That's called autoimmune disease. As simple as that. So health is enthusiasm to work and enthusiasm is compassionate. What is spirituality? Spirus, spirit. Spirits means what is sold in the wine shop. Spirit is... It comes from the word spirus is breath. So spirituality is uh, related to breathing. And if you know how to breathe properly, and if you, you will become very tranquil, and you become a spiritual person. Spiritual person does not mean you have faith in God. Faith in God is a different thing altogether. We must, even in science, we must know that God exists. God's existence can be proved in science. Because the, if you look at the way this world is created, the way the, even an atom becomes a molecule, it's such a sort of a beauty in that, that some creator must have done it because it couldn't have happened just like that. Look at the human body, for example. And we are all built to last. And this morning I saw some confusion in the minds of people who are speaking here about lifespan and life expectancy. What they were talking about was life expectancy, which is a statistical term. But they said, no, it will increase lifespan. Lifespan cannot be increased. Lifespan, if anything, is coming down gradually. And we have reduced lifespan from 140 years, 120 years, to 100 years, to about, now America maximum is about 87, 88, 88 years. Now, but life expectancy is a term which depends on infant mortality. Life expectancy in India was 27 years when we got independence. And suddenly today it is about, about 67 years. That's because infant mortality, which was nine uh, children dying after 10 were born, only two or three die now. So uh, this proportionately. So the life expectancy, a number of years, a newborn child would expect to live. Not that it lives that long. Expect to live. I have introduced a new term, health expectancy. The number of years a man can expect to be healthy without medicines and doctors. And this can be extended very easily. If we live a healthy life, <coughs> sensible life, and a spiritually oriented life, where you bring God into everything, you bring God into your thinking, and then when you think of God, you can't do wrong things. So you do feel like doing the right things. When you do right things, you are a good man. And when you become a good man, you are a spiritual being. And when you become a good man, you already become a healthy person. And that's exactly what it is. <coughs>